It's your boy Eric, aka Young God, coming to you live in the Random Master Podcast Dungeon. Give it to you real raw rugged. Um, yeah, I just got uh, cursed out because I don't know why. You want to tell the people what just happened? I cursed you out. Pound. Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> yes. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. He's he's pretty upset. But we're talking about speaking of upset upsetness. We could just do a smooth transition. Cancel culture is filled with a lot of upset people. Um, a lot of people that needs to be uh, quote unquote canceled, and we're just here to talk about that today. Uh, let him go first and tell his thoughts on cancel culture. I gonna introduce me. Um, I, I mean, this is gonna be the second video that drops, so hopefully, you know who you are. You can introduce yourself though. I'm David. All right. So, my thoughts on cancel culture. Um, can you speak a little louder? I think cancel culture is. I think it's good for um society today. I think it, it's like a checks and balance thing. Like, everything isn't perfect. Like, some people get canceled when they shouldn't. I don't agree with every, every council that happened or not. But I definitely think it's a good checks and balance. Like, for me, I think it, it makes me think about some of the shit I do before I do it. You it's like not a, like, it's I'm, like a I'm, bad human. That's what it sounds like. It's like you no, need- it sounds like I, f- I feel like that's what humans do. I think it's normal to be like, to self reflect and be like, oh, maybe I, I didn't do that as. I was I didn't have that in mind when I was doing it, right? It, it it may makes you think more, and I think that's okay. Like specifically talking about like um like really just treating women with, with respect, um I think is is definitely like bright in my eyes. Not saying I was disrespectful toward women prior to, but it's just like <laughs> not saying that, but it's just like you think more, and then you're more cog- cognizant of your actions. Your what? What? What, did you your what? Your, it's gonna be a hard word to say. All right, Cog- I stutter, so it's gonna. Okay, I'm not gonna make you do it. Thank you. It's cognitive though. Cognitive, thank you. But um, no, my whole thoughts on this, it's uh, it's it's a thing where I feel like people need to be addressed, and some people definitely do need to be aware of their actions. You know, some people do a lot of things that are not good. But on the other hand, I feel like the whole cancel culture thing is too many people playing God in the sense of. They're judging people. They're getting people out of here. And some people do need their actions addressed. You know, I'm not saying just let people off scotch-free. Some people do need to, you know, get put out the paint. But I feel like it's giving too many people a voice to be like, oh, I'm going to take this person down. Like, for example, let's say uh, I get a job to host a Grammy. Somebody going through, like, my old whatever. And they find something like, oh, he he just did something good. Let me bring him down. It's like, that's yes, you playing God at a point. And I'm not into playing God because I'm not perfect. So I'm not going to go out my way to demonize and get somebody out of here. Because it's not like this whole thing where we're going to address this and we're going to talk about it. It's like, hey, we're going to bring this person down and uh, dehumanize them. And I'm not in that position because I'm pretty sure the people that cancel these other folks, if you go in those people paths, you can find way worse stuff. So that's not my job to, <coughs> excuse me, that's not my job or anybody else's job on earth to judge and play God. So that's just something that I don't do. You know, there are things that I disagree with and I will talk about. And I don't know, I just don't, I'm not finna like make you lose your job and just go all crazy unless it's something heinous. But outside of that, like you touching kids, something like that. But if you made a mistake 10 years ago when you was 12, when you're 13, I'm like, I'm not finna go in that hard to do that because I'm not God, you know? You're not a god, but um, are you a god? No, okay, I'm not a god. All right, but um, are you a god? He's not a guy, he shook his head. No, <laughs> <laughs> all right, bro. Okay, my thing is like, you sh- shouldn't have done that green ass shit back then. That's kind of how I see it. Like, if you're 12 or 13, I understand. Like, if you're under 18, I I sort of get it, but I think we all know what's fucking right and what's wrong. You know, like the argument they bring up of like. You can't fully judge somebody like you can't really judge like racist people back in the day because that was that was the time they were in or whatever. Like you know, the, the I've never the, heard that. You never heard that. <laughs> no, I never heard that. So like people say, so you like would you say Abraham Lincoln was like a bad person? Would you say he was a good person? Like I didn't like know. if he was I didn't I didn't, today, I didn't, I didn't know the kind of shitty. I didn't know the man. You didn't know the man. I don't know the man to say that he was a good person. Though. I know, but you like read history books. I don't really know too much about Abraham Lincoln except outside of the, like the beard and the massive place. Okay, the what I'm trying to say is that a lot, a lot, lot of people say that you can't judge people. You have to judge people by the time they're in and not by like today's standard because it wouldn't be fair. Well, little, I don't think that's true. So are you saying I like think, slave owners and stuff like that? Like no. there was a time period that was in, so it was cool. Is what you're trying to say? Not, not you trying not, to say that. Not specifically, but but do, can, do they work for your example? Huh? Do, does that work for your example, slave I masters? Think, can I we? Think can that's, we, that's an extreme. 
So but, like who like what type of people are we talking about? Like fucking you you know you heard about um the Yan- 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 Yankees like the baseball people trying to um that white white lady who made that ra- 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 racist ass song and they trying to like not play it because she was like she made like really like bad songs about black people and shit. Nah, All right, so we can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> let's do slave owners then. So it's slave extreme, owners, but yeah. Let's do well, let me say that because like slavery is bad at any time. Like niggas know that's dehumanizing another. Like, human. Let's do just a random racist ass man. Like he was just a little racist. He didn't. He, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't just a little racist. Just a little racist. He, he said the n word every now and then. He didn't really. He thought women belonged in the kitchen. Hey, you got to give me somebody. I, I really want to go off somebody specific. I don't know. You got somebody. Amp? Just somebody that was racist. Or what about Robert E. Lee? Okay, cool. Let's go with Robert E. Lee. It's also a, um, a slave master, though. I think. No, he was a general. I, he probably had. Yeah, I think he did on some slaves. Like though. A, yeah, he wasn't like a master, but. <laughs> <laughs> He owned slaves. He was no master. He was just slave yeah. owner. <laughs> a slave owner, slave master. It's a synonym, man. All right. Um, we can go off him though. Still. So, okay. What's your point about Robert E. Lee? My thing is, so like, you know how Trump? Well, you probably don't know, but um, you don't know shit. What it seemed like, but um, <laughs> okay, yeah. he wasn't a slave master. It's yeah. <laughs> a slave general. <laughs> they says, but um. Like, like Trump is saying, like how, like take, taking down these statues and shit. Like we're judging them on today's standards, and back then, like it was normal to have slaves or whatever. That's the argument that they would have, and I think that you knew this shit was wrong back then. That's basically the point I'm trying to say. Well, yeah. Like, so it's okay. Like, just say that shit is okay. That shit, you, we can't hold you to that standard because it happened in the past. I don't think that's fair. Some stuff I, I could see that being the argument for slavery. Uh, no racism or any type of hatred. Hate is always wrong. Everybody knows that. So you can't say, okay, oh, so, hatred against okay. a person that's different. So, like, so but you, there, there's wait, some wait, stuff, let me, though. Let me get this out. Do, do you think that um, Kevin Hart thing was okay? You think that was bad? Uh, No, I don't think it was bad. You don't think? So you think they should have canceled him? You think that was a good cancellation? No, 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 no. I'm saying I don't think Kevin Hart, what, what he, he said was bad? Yeah, I don't think, think that was bad. okay. What he said about gay, gay, gay people and shit and, like, beating the shit out of his son because his son was gay? I didn't see all that. I just know he called Dwayne Wade a fat face faggot. Well, he's, he def, def, that wasn't that wasn't really what it was about. It was like I, I, making, you got to you got to enlighten me. I don't I don't know. About I don't this. really know too much of the details, but it was you know, yeah, oh. he said both those things. Yeah. Oh, hold on, what was the second thing? Like saying like if he had a gay gay son, basically he like beat the shit out of him. Which is like which is like a tweet or is like a joke? It was like a joke tweet. I think was it a tweet joke? Yeah, it was clearly joking. But- uh, I don't know if he was clear. That's like an awful joke to me. It was supposed to be a joke. I'm saying like I'm saying what joke. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying like I could see I mean I could I don't know how I could, how you could make this funny, but like was this like typed or was he like saying this? Cause okay. Let's I don't say it was typed. If I mean you know I'm saying cause you know you have to like somebody could just say a joke and you'd be like that wasn't funny. But then when you actually perform you're like, oh that was pretty funny. So like I would have to see saying, that. Saying, 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 oh, you're he, gonna he beat the shit it? out of your gay ass son. I was, okay. That's uh, funny, huh? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, um, That's funny? No, <laughs> 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 no, it's, it's not. It's not funny. But um, <laughs> dude, you made me chuckle when you said that. Um, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, I mean, it just sounds like a bad joke. That's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. A, so I mean, you're okay like with joke. the cancellation? And I mean, it's not even a fucking cancellation. Yes, I'm saying so. What, like, what Twitter shit? I don't see why you be mad at it. It's just holding people accountable for some shit. It's just some Twitter. I shit. think the word canceled, nobody really gets th- fucking. Canceled. I think the word canceled is just. It's just a weird word. It's very like. Uh, cause I, th- I think it's like a female thing, right? If I'm not mistaken, like um. Counseling somebody? Yeah, that was like a few. That like came from like females from Tumblr, if I'm not mistaken. Tweet? Yeah, give me a tweet. Right, can it, can, you think they hear you? Yeah, they should be there. All right. I'll post a tweet up also. All right. I say you Watch, they can't hear nothing. He was just talking about it. <laughs> yeah, when my son, son comes home and tries to play with my daughter, dollhouse, I'm going to break it over his head and say, that's gay. <laughs> also, Kevin Hart is really not a funny person to stand up to me, so that's that's neither here or there. But um, stand up used to be funny, like the long titty no nipple thing. That's kind of I can see that being funny, like that that like if if you took that out of his son and I can see this might make that funny, but that joke wasn't funny. Beat like the way you just worded it, beating a nigga, beating a zesty nigga. <laughs> that's, that's funny, like the way you worded that, but the way he worded that, and that wasn't funny. It was a bad joke. It's just like, okay, like, where's the joke? Like, it don't even sound like a joke. That sounded just like a, a real tweet, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that wasn't really good delivery or anything like that. So, yeah, that was that was bad joking on bad him. Bad bars by Kevin Hart. Yeah, it was bad bars. Um, but, yeah, my, my, my point is, uh, I kind of got lost after you read that. What were we talking about? <laughs> like, we were saying that. Oh, yeah, you were talking about cancer. I was saying yeah. it was a female thing. I was saying that came from, I think, females from Tumblr, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Because it came from females, is. 
What is your point with that? Well, no, I think I mean I I've, I've said this a lot of times that I feel like the way females um well it's not even a feel thing but it's just a fact that like the way females they don't have more emotions than men they're not more emotional than men but the way they display their emotions uh, their emotions are different than men the way we display our emotions are different from them and I feel like the whole like just seeing something and reacting really quickly that's something that's like uh I want to attribute that's like a, a women trait if I'm not mistaken. So what, and, about, what about like a seventeen year old white boy that says like the n word and like he's famous now and then mm-hmm. we, like look back at that and like man, fuck that fuck, fuck that cargo well i think my more i think i have a more problem with the people trying to look for it that's just corny that you, you don't have a life like if you're trying to look for that then you're just you're corny like let's what say about, if, what about the blackface shit you, you remember the governor who had black face i don't i don't know blackface. if people are trying to look for that but i'm just saying like people who are trying to look for that that's a corny act like if you're trying like if you're like going out of your way and you don't even know if that person did something bad like let's say if you got famous and they was trying to find something bad you said like that's not corny to you? Well, I would think it's corny because it's me. But well, okay, like, if I said some fucked up. Well, shit, no, no, no. Let's say Wesley well, Snipes. They, they 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 tried to go back and try to find something that Wesley Snipes did. He let's say he just landed a job to play Barack Obama as a, in a new biopic, and they tr- and they tried to find something awful casting. And they yeah. that's funny. And they tried to get his dad. Will Smith. They they tried to Barack Obama daddy. Will Smith get that's funny. Will Smith <laughs> gets a job to play Barack Obama in a biopic, and they're trying to find something to get him out of here. Is Maybe. that not corny to you? If he did some wild shit. No, 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 no. People are trying. The act of people trying to find something yeah, to, to break him down. Find something that's not. Like, you're not answering my question. My question is the act of trying to find something to get him out of here. Is that corny or not to you? Unless they find something. That's, that's you're credible. not answering the question. Yes, the, I am. The the act. You're not answering the act. You're saying if they do. I'm not talking about if they if so they, they do. If they don't find shit, then I think it was corny. No, my nigga. I'm talking about the act of doing it. You're not answering the question. Yes, Listen, I am. The the act of me shooting a basketball. Is that fire? If it go in, no, I'm not saying. I'm saying yes, the act of me taking. Yeah. The if, you act of me the shot, if you shoot the shot, if you shoot the shot, and it go in, it. that was good. Like, like, like do if you, you shoot the shot and it miss? That was fucking no. bad. Do you support me playing basketball? You suck. That's what I'm saying. Do you support the people trying to go and find dirt on these people? I'm no. Okay with it. Oh, so you're okay with that? I think that's corny. You think that's corny? Like, what if they find something cr- credible? That's still corny though. That's the corny, the, the so act, the act of you trying to so demise. Let's say they find some shit about the president, and he was doing some sketchy shit back in the day, like playing with little girls. Well, like, no, no. Yeah. I think y'all both right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, if you find something, then cool. But I'm just, I'm, spe- I'm specifying on the act. I'm not going. You're going further than find. That I'm not going there yet. We can so, go there in a minute. I'm saying the act so of you link, seeing somebody being successful and you're like, oh, I'm going to find something bad that they did. That's corny. That's all I'm saying. I'm, we can go to them finding something. The act of looking is all right. The act of exposing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. The, the act of trying to bring that person down. You have to expose you bring them down. So I'm saying. the. But if they did some fucked up shit, when you think it's okay? See, that's where y'all both See, right. but you're going further than where I'm going. You're, go, you're already. You're, you're going so find, to. The, so just looking. Well, and you exposing. Wait, you look, looking and exposing. If you look at. You wouldn't, so we wouldn't know if they didn't look and expose us. But no, I'm saying that. Are you okay with that shit just being in the dark and no, everybody that's, just. That's, not my, that's I'm, what you're saying. My, my, my point is. That's what I'm hearing. I you sound like a. You sound, you're a loser if you go and say, this person is famous. This person is doing good. Let me try to find something to bring. Oh, he said faggot. Oh, I'm going to bring him down. That's corny because you don't have anything else but better to do with your life. Would you ever do that to somebody? You probably won't because you got things to do. You're in the military. You're doing stuff. You're not finna go. Oh, I mean, this nigga, well, <laughs> yeah. niggas might get hey, 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 hey. Yeah, look, look, yeah, 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 yeah. You see how it is? That's corny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's corny. That's corny. Yeah, it's like, That's corny. Yeah, bleep that part out. <laughs> you're, yeah. in a, you're in the boob. <laughs> <laughs> But no, that's my point. Uh, like, that's, uh, yeah, you see, I said that's green ass nigga. My nigga, so you telling me you just land a big job in your job field, in your occupation or whatever, and niggas going like not not your major and stuff because that, that's their job to make sure you're a solid nigga. But a nigga what? outside, what? I'm saying like if you're in the CIA, the FBI, they look up your background history. That's they they got to make sure that you're good. That's their job to do that. They're trying to make sure they're not hiring a bad nigga. But you just being at home, being a miserable person, trying to bring somebody down that you're getting no credit for. What's the point of that? That's some hater stuff. Okay. That's all I'm saying. It's haters. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't. Hold, I, I want I want to hear your point a little bit more, and then we can go back to that because I think it's I think this this the whole act of doing it 
it's interesting, and I feel like you're not you're not seeing that. You're like going past finding stuff, and I'm not talking about you. Because that's the reality. Not. Like you just trying to do this hypothetical bullshit in between. Like that's so stupid. it's hypothetical for people to look up stuff and expose. No, but I'm just saying you're stopping there. But that's not the reality but, of life. Like, they don't just stop there. They get go, exposed. We we can go there and talk about the the exposal and what comes after but that. I said but I was okay with it. So you're yeah. saying you're okay with that? Yeah. Cool. I don't think that's okay. So that's where we disagree. At. I'm just saying I think that's some loser. So you don't think stuff. no? Like you should never do that. That's just like I mean, yeah, that's some hate. Do something better. With but your even, life, okay. That's, but, I'm, 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 okay like, unless that's your say, job, unless that's your job, people cool. Don't do that. Let's say people, because you, 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 you're frame framing as people who's like snooping and all that stuff. But sometimes it's credible shit. Sometimes somebody said they did this to me, and then we, we, somebody snooped to find evidence of them doing that thing. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. But that's basically what you. That's no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, because for, no, no. My point no, before you go that my whole thing is when niggas do something great and people try to find something to bring them down, like the Kevin Hart thing. Nigga just got an Oscar. Um, he, he got the job for the Oscar host. Fuck up great so people go in his past to find something to bring him down fucked up. that's corny you still did the like, like, you so that's not to, corny but... to you for 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 a man not, for just a person i'm not gonna say a black he man just a up. person he fucked up what you fucked up right, ask you a question. is this corny now you watch wrestling you ever heard of becky lynch it's a white chick white chick you know it's, it's a wrestling and erica agreed she was popping this year she was like one of the hottest wrestlers so i seen somebody on twitter and they exposed themselves doing it and this shit was so corny to me they put Becky Lynch Twitter name and they put nigger, and they would see. They was looking to see if they could find something. They didn't find anything. But why would you even do that? But they didn't find it. But he so, said, yeah. he said, see, he going past that. He going, you going past the act of trying to do it. You said if they didn't find it. Cool. I know, because then it's then it's not credible. Well, then why it's are they even doing that's that? my point. See, you're but going. But if they found it, then fuck that bitch, Becky. Dev, David, you're going past fuck Becky. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the person doing the exposal. You're talking about the person getting exposed. You're going too far ahead. You're jumping. You're, we're right here. You all the way down there still. I'm trying to get you right here to, right, to, to show you that the person trying to do the exposing, what are you doing? Like, what's the point of that? Like, like I'm so, okay with it. So what's I'm the point? I'm still okay with so it. So what do you think that person gets out of doing that? Answer that. Nothing if you don't find shit. If they do find you it. You just wasted your fucking time. If they do find it, what do you I get out of it? I waste my time beating my meat sometime. Like, you just waste your time. It's okay. I don't give a fuck. Okay, uh, okay, what? Okay, anyway. That what's too the, much for you? That was. Right. What's the what's the point of if they do find it? Like, I, mean, I mean, that was the point, but what did they get out of that if they do find it? We know this bitch racist. What, do, fuck they, what, what do the person get you out of that? You with Becky even though she's saying nigga that's and nigga. Not my, that's not my point. Because it's just you like you're exposing their darkness into the fucking light. So what, what, saying, did, what did they get out of that? <laughs> that's all they, of that. I guess they get them off. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's like some loser like I, in sale. I don't get any women. I don't I, care. I'm that's what I'm saying. I don't care. I'm saying that's, that, says something to do, that has something to do with society. That the fact that we. What is your point? That has something to do with society. That we we okay behavior like that. Loser behavior like oh it's okay to bring somebody down. That's what they do. In, that's what they do in sports. Y'all all watch. Everybody watch sports here. You cannot tell me they don't do this. A nigga win a championship. They will be interviewing him and be like five years ago when you raped that girl. Like what? what? Oh, well, fine. Like, like they'll break yeah, this Break the girl. I know, I'm, I'm saying, okay with at it. At the highest point, society, we love to bring that person down. Well, he should have been down. When yeah, bring it up now. He was a fucking rapist. I'm okay with that. I, I was just using with that. Rape, maybe in the hyperbole, but I'm just saying they will bring up something they didn't pass. Like you hit that girl, or you did this, or you you sold drugs, you 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 killed this nigga, and it's just like whoa, like I'm at my highest point. You bring like we love to do that, and I think that's just corny to do. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. So, um, yeah, I just feel like that act of cancel. So corny niggas. I think you a corny nigga. All right. Um, okay. So what? <laughs> all right. What the fuck is you talking about? I'll let you get this W. I, could, I had a good one, too, but I ain't going to say it. I'm just cute in my yeah, head. But um, <laughs> <laughs> let me win this one. I'll let you win this yeah. one because I had a good one. But my whole thing is that's a part of cancel culture that I think is a corny you thing. You just going to cut it. Hmm? You just going to cut it. Cut what? You gonna cut like cut up the video? I already know you gonna do it. No, I'm gonna let that All in there. Right, we, we're off of that. Every time now. we play basketball, you no, we don't cut I, up the whole video, man. bro. I'm, <laughs> cut up every every time you make it jump. Probably cut this part off, but yeah, not the other part. But nigga. anyway, like I was saying, I just feel like that part of cancel culture is really corny. That's all I'm saying. All you right, gotta go somewhere, my nigga. You keep looking at the time. Yeah, I'm just looking at the time, bro. So, so yeah, I just think that's corny. So, but, you, but you disagree with that? You don't think that's corny? I think it's it's not it's not something I would do. And then uh, I guess to move off of that, we've been talking about this for a really long time. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, just other parts of cancel culture that I just don't agree with. I just like I said, judging people and playing God. I'm not God. You know, we were talking They're about Malcolm. playing God. Yeah, I think so. Like, but so, but it's not you. You agree that it wasn't even like a real cancel. You don't cancel but, people but off the Twitter. But they, but they feel that they're doing that. Like, I don't think they're just saying we're canceling and nothing will happen. They want that person to get canceled. That's the whole objective mm -hmm. of it. So even if it doesn't happen or does happen, Can that's neither here nor there. Example of you think an unjustified cancel. 
Um, it's not like you can't think of one. <laughs> Stupid ass. I mean, niggas get canceled. <laughs> I can't keep up. I don't go on Twitter like that anymore. Up. It's tough to keep up. It is. Yeah, is it not? I think. <laughs> I think the people who actually got canceled. Do you think Charlamagne should have got canceled? No. Talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I talk don't. about that. It was like DNA evidence. His DNA was not found in the woman, and it's later to be found out. You know, Wendy Wendy Williams' husband. Yeah, it was. He set the whole shit up. Maybe so. I don't know. You don't um, know? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe so. You're confused now, huh? I mean, I didn't say he should yeah, get canceled or not. I was just asking the question. All right. Um, but yeah, somebody like Malcolm X. I remember you said that you think Malcolm X. Like, I, remember I was saying that I feel like cancel culture, these people that just like, dis- like somebody do one bad thing, like we focus on a negative. A lot of bad, huh? Okay. You said what? He did a lot of bad things. Yeah, so I'm saying. So Malcolm X in this day and age would have got canceled and people would have disregarded him. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he would have been able to evolve and grow in this culture. Okay. You know? So I just think stuff like that. Us not letting people evolve and grow, that's but he very... He, but I'm saying, so if we had a Malcolm X 2019, I don't think we would let that person grow because we're like, we're playing God. We got to be these perfect people. Like, oh, you you, know you so dope to black people or you did this. Like, oh, you, you can't be listened to. And it's just... Hear me, hear me, hear me out, but I'm, I'm okay with that because it sets the standard of you can't do this fucked up shit no more. So, so you, I'm, happy, I'm happy he grew back then and he became what he was because that's a good thing. He's a revolutionary person. Um, just a great guy. But like, to, like it sets a standard where we can't do that fucked up shit no more, and I'm cool with that. So you would take Malcolm X being canceled if it means that we'll not do effed up stuff. If it was like 2019, if Malcolm X was 2019, if we had a Malcolm X 2019, you would want that person or Malcolm X to be canceled if that means that it would set the standard. It's a precedent of and like canceled, not raping women. And, and I mean, well, he didn't rape anybody. I'm, but I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm not, talking about I'm specifically talking about, Malcolm X and the things that he I did. I know, but counseling somebody for doing bad shit sets precedent. I'm talking about for specifically things, of what Malcolm X what and what he did. Can you I mean, he sold he drugs. Uh, he pro- I mean, he prostituted. Well, I don't know. He uh, he oh, pimped. Trying to get he got by the people. He he. He, I think he I think he was a pimp, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he was a pimp. He was a pimp? Yeah. Um stuff like that. So pimping women. Let's just stick on that. Pimping so women, degrading women, yeah. Bad things, selling drugs, bad things. So would you want a Malcolm X or Malcolm X of twenty nineteen to be canceled if that means it was set the standard? And I mean canceled, I mean they get this nigga out of here, we don't we don't listen to that nigga. If you set the standard for not doing bad things, I think for the greater good, that's okay. So you think no Malcolm X would be the greater good for black people? If nobody did because if nobody did those things no more. If nobody sold drugs and they got like jobs. that's not gonna happen, bro. <laughs> that's not gonna happen. That, that's the not, argument. Well, no, no, no. You say we talking about realistic. I, I, you say set the standard as if people would know, but we talking about people want to follow. I mean, it's already a standard. We know that pimping is bad. We know that selling drugs is bad. Niggas do it anyway, though. But I'm saying we're okay with people that sell drugs, huh? We're okay with people that sell drugs, honestly. Uh, not new Twitter. From what I be seeing, they say they, they, they say they they canceled and they they coon sus. That's what I've seen. Uh, okay. But I don't know. I just I just think that is. I just, I just think that a lot of it is corny, and I wouldn't cancel a Malcolm X for um, whatever. But you wouldn't know about. he would be a Malcolm X. Um, you're right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you would just you, be okay with him pimping and selling drugs? Well, no, 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 no. Black women. Well, no, 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 no. You, that, that's, you would that's, be okay with that. Is no, what you're that's, that's not my thing. So that's not what you're saying. That's, what you that's saying? not my thing. My, my th- what you're saying? <laughs> that's why I wish I'm we had curious. one mic because you like cut niggas off. I'm curious. My whole thing is. My whole thing is if 2019, like I said, if we had a Malcolm X or Malcolm X, right? And this person, well, I was speaking for somebody who was actually, because Malcolm X, I can't even use Malcolm X, so Malcolm X wasn't active, he wasn't an active activist at that time, right? So Malcolm X, sure, we could get the nigga out of pain, because we wouldn't know oh, what so he would be. what I said. We, we, we wouldn't know what he would be. But I'm talking about somebody who's actually, like a Malcolm, like, like a Malcolm X came in, came in his form or whatever, and we digged it up in the past, and we get him out of here. That's more of what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about... Hey, what did you say, Sadie? If Malcolm X was Malcolm X of 1967, so doing what he do, right, mm-hmm. in his prime. And then we dig up that stuff in the past, and then we get him out of here. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying I think that's corny. Like, oh, Malcolm X did. Oh, he canceled. Like, well, we don't usually cancel people for selling drugs and pimping women. You don't think a nigga cancel for pimping? Who? Who, who got canceled for pimping? I'm saying. I mean, but that's like we're in like this sex worker. Like gunplay a pimp? You cancel gunplay? Nobody cares about gunplay. Nobody cancel don't care about gunplay. I like gunplay though. That's yeah, not that's not my point. But I'm just saying, like, virus. nah, come on, bro. Gunplay nice. Come on, bro. We, if, nice, if, nice, we're nice in this whole, we're in this whole sex worker age. Hey, he's a he's a nice person. Cool. We're in this whole sex worker age. We're in this whole age where we need respect women. And you think if a nigga pimped a girl, you think niggas would be not getting him out to paint for that? Of course they would. Yeah, maybe. Niggas just don't know. Yeah. There's a well known rapper bodyguard who used to be a pimp, but I don't think people really know about that cool. to talk about it. I don't want to. I don't want to make the. You, the you, I don't want to make the block hot. Yeah, I, I want to make the block hot. But um, yeah. I mean, that's just pretty. Any any last words you got on cancel culture? 
No. That's it? Nope. That's it. All right. Um, well, another one in the bag for me. And that's the opposition for so you guys. So fucking green. Um, in the bag until green. next time, I say what I mean. I mean what I say. Haters going to hate. Players going to play. Oh, How's yeah, your like point? The, the pause haters. Go- He's so green, bro. He's a real green ass nigga.